you for discovering 15 minutes food for thought. We are speaking life, sharing practical principles and insight from four perspectives from Angela Miller, Deborah Morgan, Kelly R. Moore, and Robin McCoy. This inspirational channel encourages, provokes, inspires, and empowers others to live with and on purpose. We are excited that you are here, and we pray that you are blessed with practical principles to change your life. Thank you for joining 15 Minutes Food for Thought. We are so glad that you're here, that you've discovered our channel, where we're speaking live and sharing practical principles from the Word of God from four perspectives. I'm Deborah Morgan. I'm your host for today with these beautiful ladies, Angela Miller, <laughs> Kelly Armore, and Robin McCoy. And today we're going to be sharing from Exodus chapter 12. We know that April is the month where we celebrate Easter and the Passover. So tonight we're just going to share with you the insight that we received from our study of Exodus chapter 12. Would um, one of you ladies like to share what insight you got from our study of Exodus 12? Yes, I will. I'll start um, with our principle for this evening. I am um, in study with, along with you ladies with Exodus chapter 12. I particularly pulled out for myself verse 7 through 11, which basically the Lord was telling us how to uh, prepare the Passover meal, meaning he wanted us to use a lamb or a goat. It had to be a male, of course. And he wanted us to prepare it, roast it. It couldn't be boiled. It couldn't be raw. It had to be roasted and eaten in its entirety. And if anything was remaining it, come morning, it had to be discarded. And we also had to, to eat it in preparation. We had to be prepared where they had to wear their sandals. They had to have their, our, our words, their belts tucked in to be ready to go at any time. And at the same time, I took it as meaning the Lord wanted us to be prepared in its entirety for him. We couldn't prepare for just part of him or part of his word, we had to prepare in its entirety for his whole complete word, body, everything. So you couldn't just take what you like and run with it. You couldn't mm. live with a certain part and discard the other. You have to live it as a whole or not at all. And as, as we say in our words, you have to accept them or you not. You know, so that's what I took true, as my true. perspective on that portion of the Passover meal. Oh, that's good. That's good. I, I, I remember. Um, I, uh, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, no, I was no, just saying, I remember that she talked about uh, one of you brought up the word community. So I don't know if you could maybe bring that up. Could you share more about that? I, I, that just stuck in my mind real quick. Well, I, yeah, that was me. I was just thinking about community and how the value God places on that when people look out for one another. So if you have more and abundance and someone doesn't and they're lacking, um, how can you share? How can you help your fellow man, brother, sister, um, be kind? And um, like I think we've talked before in this day and age, this is a great time to really show God's love because sometimes it's only, they may only see God through the people that show him his, their love, you know, or his love. So community is very crucial. Um, how we do that. And each one is different how we show love, right? What we can do and what we can give to someone else. So it means different for differently for each person. Yes, that's a good good point. That's really good. Really really good. good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I and I I even feel that even though I was speaking about Passover meal portion, it still involved community 
because the Lord was saying, if you didn't finish, you go and see what your neighbor, you know, neighbor needed mm -hmm. uh, as far as the meal itself, you know, for they to be prepared. So mm -hmm. he want, he wouldn't, well, so when he came in, if he's, you know, wouldn't pass them over and things like that. So that's still to me kind of incorporated the community portion as mm -hmm. well, because he mm -hmm. wanted you yes. to go and, yes. you know, share basically and let them know hey you got to be ready or he's gonna you know so when he comes to pass over he don't want to you know slay you so you got you know you're right so, yeah. <laughs> that's how i kind of kind of took it that's from my good. perspective mm -hmm. that's really good good point really good. Yeah. yeah yeah so when you guys were talking about like why the community is standing out to me is that when mm -hmm. you were talking about it um i'm not sure what discussion we were having but community was when I was originally reading Exodus, I just was thinking that the community was strictly the Israelites, the, the Hebrew people, but it was more than just them who left Egypt at that time. You know, there was another group of people that came along with them. So for us to sometimes, um, for myself, when you were talking also about the, the, the sheep and the, the lamb and the goat, you know, that I can't get boxed up in it just thinking that my community is going to look mm. like me, that my community is going to be like me. Right, yeah. um, that's that a when I, you know, I'm myself, you know, like my salvation or your salvation, mine may look like the lamb because yeah. in Exodus chapter 12, verse five, it said, take a sheep or a goat, you know, or a lamb or a goat. Either, you know, God gives those principles of this is what I'm setting up for salvation. If you want to avoid the Passover, the death that's coming, because I'm telling you ahead of time, it's not going to take you by surprise. It's coming. You know, um, again, my walk will, may look like a lamb, you know, like what I'm consuming in my household, because it's a, you know, pay attention to, you know, mark what's, what they're eating. Um, if, if your family's large, then, then you take what you need. If your family's small, again, mm -hmm. share, mm -hmm. you know, share. And so I, it just share. really made me I feel like I've been made less prejudiced. I don't know if that's less less judgmental, less prejudiced. Um, that's a good point. It, it just, I'm so grateful to you, Sister Debbie, for um, bringing this up to us because it just opened up a whole new arena of approaching my salvation and, mm -hmm. and, and things like that. And I'm gonna go back to when he said, mark what you, mark what they eat. You know, he didn't give that, again I'm, I, as somebody who was very critical of what salvation was to look like or your uh, what someone's walk was to look like um you right. said that's not my role you know that he didn't assign that to me for the church you know the government is on his shoulders the government is on the you know that fivefold ministry and how how important mm -hmm. structure is how important um these godly principles are how important it is to continue on these traditions like he said to do and with that um you know i appreciate you again to uh, with writing that book called directed arrows you know where you set up those mm -hmm. that you brought out principles that seemingly would have been lost or are lost but in all actuality you know i believe that like even with this study he's bringing us back to these basic principles in um, like basic guess, principles, just basic principles of salvation. You know, that's awesome. That, that's that's what I got. I'm very grateful for this study. No and, good. And my yes. sisters in Christ. Yeah. Oh yes. 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 I, 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 like, I like that. Um, you know, it's a familiar story, and we read it so many times. But it felt like this time mm -hmm. I had new eyes. Um, reading exodus chapter 12 to see that this really was all mm -hmm. about community mm -hmm. and that um mm -hmm. god what i took from it how detailed god is when he mm -hmm. gives instructions he mm -hmm. laid it out like kelly brought out he talked about how how to roast the lamb he said yeah. don't mm -hmm. don't eat it raw don't um boil it but roast it he gave specific guidelines and instructions mm -hmm. and if we um, will embrace the word of God like this is our instruction manual, you know, right, for daily right. practical right. that it mm -hmm. it may yes. not address, um, you know, the our worldview or the issues that we can name mm -hmm. specifically in 2020, 
but those principles, which you said, Sister Robin, those principles are there. It's principles. Mm -hmm. And the yes, yes. you want to hone in on today is about community, mm -hmm. paying attention to your neighbors. Right. So like you all brought out, if they don't have enough, it, it's our job to find out if they have If they have enough. Right. If they have enough. Right. So right. How, how do we make that practical in 2020, especially, you know, mm -hmm. we're dealing with the, um, quarantine and all the situations I don't really want to harp on that that's going around because it's very real but now is the time for us to be the hands the feet of Christ to go out and see what yes. our neighbor our neighbors need mm -hmm. because you know we're confined to the neighborhood yes. or whatever whatever that looks like to you and I love Robin that you brought out you, you don't have time to be prejudiced you don't have time to compare you don't have time to judge it's time to love and share mm -hmm. and and um, be helpers and pray for one another. Yes, mm -hmm. and pray for each other and and yeah. know that even the person that's watching our video helping you to see that you're valuable. The community needs mm -hmm. you. Yes, and the community could be your family, your your mm -hmm. extended family, your church mm -hmm. family, your actual neighborhood. Mm -hmm. But at this point. We want people to see that you are valuable. We need you. God needs right, you. Right, right. I need you. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 So true. So true. Yeah. You know, how do you know your neighbor's lacking if you don't go check on them? Right. You know what That's I'm true. saying? That's what right, you right. do. Go, right. go see if they had enough. Right. And, so, and be you know. willing to, and be open to allow someone to share what they have with you. Yes. You know, be yes. open. Mm -hmm. And that we're always looking like it's God's job. But God is looking, and we're waiting on God, but God's waiting on us. He gave the instruction. Yes. And if you think about in Exodus chapter 12, it said the whole community was involved. Everybody in the community had a part mm -hmm. to play. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, so mm -hmm. that's awesome, ladies. Mm -hmm. I, I just thank you so much that are the person yes. who's listening to, to us will be encouraged and inspired to read and study mm -hmm. the word of God and to draw closer to him. And that our heart's desire is that they will receive practical principles so that they can mm -hmm. live on purpose and with purpose. Right. So yes. Said, so I would like to pray for um, those that are listening this to our um, YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for the yes. opportunity to you, touch yes. another person's life and show thank them, you for tell them how much Jesus. you love them, how valuable Jesus. they are to you, how thank valuable you. they are to yes. the community. Thank you, Jesus. And Father, we thank you for opening up thank the you. Yes. Yes. of your word that you move through community, Lord yes. Jesus. Yes. And so yes. help the person that we're talking to tonight and Thank praying you, for Jesus. tonight realize that their life is valuable, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. And that Thank you, they God. have something to offer and nobody's judging anyone, right. but we're open to receive however you get the blessing to us, yes. Lord. Yes. Help people to be yes, receptive, God. as Sister Robin brought up. Help us to receive yes, God. the vessel yes, God that brings to us what we need, Lord. Yes, and so we ask that you will empower our listeners today to yes, hear your yes, voice, to be enlightened and know that you have a plan and a purpose for them. In Jesus', Jesus name. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And you know, I know that we went past it this part, but I really did want to say about what we missed, uh, what I failed to say uh, of what I got, mm -hmm. that I said that God was a God of detail, but that he also mm -hmm. marked and it was important for the leader of the home. And so, so many in, mm, in, yes. in Exodus 12, he told the male, the father to go get the lamb. Mm -hmm. And so today we know that our families look so different, yes. but still, sure. <laughs> you know, the, the mm -hmm. role yeah. of the person that's the leader of the family. Mm -hmm. So just yes. want to encourage heads of households today 
you know, that mm -hmm. kids that yes. parents are struggling trying to teach their kids at home where they haven't had to do that before and just mm -hmm. covering that community, um, the, the oh, head God. of household, you know, maybe working from home or maybe furloughed mm -hmm. because of what's going on in the community, but just lifting up that person who, if it's the mother, the father, the yes. grandmother, the auntie, mm -hmm. the mentor, who, who yes. has granddad, whoever is stepping in that role as the head of household, we pray for them today. Mm -hmm. to cover, name. That's yes. a responsibility yes. to cover the yes. family. And so yes. well, absolutely. So we, want, we also want a, a person listening to know too, they may be in the household by themselves. So we don't want them yeah, to feel that they're not part of a community because they're not the head of the household, which they are, but they may feel they're not because they don't have right. any children yeah. or any family around them, but they can still be a part of the community. You yeah, know, right. so we, right. you know, so absolutely to pray for those that's listening that's by themselves who feel that they're all alone, but they're really not because they are, they are still part of, a, you know what I mean? Thank you. Right. That's a good point. Thank you. Good, good, ladies. Okay. Well, again, we want to say thank you for discovering yes. 15 minutes food for thought. Please, if you enjoyed our conversation, please subscribe and like our channel. Visit our group Facebook page and like that too. And we will be here every Wednesday. And so next week, we will be discussing. Um, Galatians chapter five. chapter five and sister Robin yes. is going to be our host for next week. So we hope yeah. that you're inspired <laughs> to study mm -hmm. the word of God from four different perspectives. Yeah. And we thank you for um, tuning in to our channel. God bless you. God bless you. Okay. God bless God. you. Yes. <laughs> Again, we thank you for listening to 15 Minutes Food for Thought. If you enjoyed today's topic, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and join our group on Facebook. Our prayer is that you were blessed today with practical principles that you can apply to your daily living. We'll see you next week.